Hi friend, today I'm going to review and summarize the documentary film Poisoned, The Dirty Truth About Your Food. This is a new film that's been released on Netflix in August 2023, directed by Stephanie Serktig. The film reveals the disturbing truth about foodborne illnesses causing potentially deadly disease outbreaks in the US food supply. Now, if you are a person that eats food, which if you're watching this, I imagine you are, then potentially deadly bacteria contaminating your food is something I would imagine you'd be concerned about. If that is correct, then please stick around as I dive into this shocking film, Poisoned. I'm Dr. Ryan Williams, your host and the founder of Growing Pure, where I help you make vegan cooking and health fast, simple, and mind-blowingly tasty. Now, this issue of food safety, actually, it hits close to home for me because I'm a food scientist. I spent years working in the food industry making new food products and trying my best to make them safe for people to eat. Food is such a vital part of all of our lives and seeing unsafe food like this film uncovers, it gets to me, you know? That's why I think sharing the message of this film so you and your family can stay safe is really important. So the first thing that I think the film illustrates really well is that foodborne illness is still a major problem even today. The film does focus on the US, but it's hard to imagine that these problems are isolated to that country. I think this is probably a worldwide issue. So let me hit you with a few stats from the film to put this into perspective for you. According to the US CDC, 48 million cases of foodborne illness happen each year in the US. 48 million, that is a lot. And the CDC investigates 36 new cases every single week. The film goes into numerous outbreaks of disease over the last 30 years and right up to the present day in the US caused by horrible bacteria like E. coli, Salmonella and Campylobacter. We look at the 1993 outbreak of E. coli from fast food hamburgers that made hundreds of people sick and actually killed four children. And there are numerous salmonella outbreaks too. In 2009, a big outbreak associated with peanuts. And in 2010, an outbreak caused by eggs. That one made 56,000 people sick. And the CDC estimates that salmonella infections alone cause 1.3 million illnesses each year, around about 26,000 hospitalizations and 420 deaths. And as the film explores these different outbreaks, we see interviews with industry experts, food safety experts that talk about the scale and scope of this problem. And heartbreakingly, we also see those who have been personally affected by these illnesses. For example, the parents of children that have been killed by these bacterial infections. So many foods can be associated with foodborne illness. Perhaps some of them are not that surprising, like chicken or ground beef. But we also see outbreaks from things like peanuts, romaine lettuce, spinach, melons, tomatoes. And this is a particular problem because Meat is virtually always cooked before it's eaten, whereas many of these fruits and vegetables are eaten raw. They might be washed, but washing doesn't kill E. coli. So E. coli is still on it when you're eating it, if it's contaminated. So I think the obvious question that then the film tries to explain is where does this bacteria, where does this contamination come from originally? Well, it comes from animal feces. So in a slaughterhouse, it's virtually impossible to avoid uh, waste material from the animal's gut contaminating the meat. At the egg farm where there was the salmonella outbreak, there were apparently piles of manure eight feet high. But then how do fruits and vegetables, even organic fruits and vegetables, become contaminated with animal feces? Well, what tends to happen is this. 
animal waste runs off farms and into waterways. And then the water from that waterways is used to irrigate crops. It's essentially sprayed all over your lettuce, contaminating it in the process. And the film talks about how it can be a major issue when you have proximity of intense livestock farms right next to waterways that are also next to fields of crops growing because it's very easy for these bacteria to spread from the animal waste to the fruits and vegetables. So then a major thread of this film is that the industry and government and regulators are not really solving the problem. The USDA position is that it's not the industry's responsibility to avoid selling you, the consumer, salmonella contaminated poultry, for instance. Rather, it is your responsibility to cook this potentially hazardous material and kill the bacteria yourself. And unfortunately, industry is lobbying to keep it this way. And the film does point out that tighter regulations on contaminated food are possible. And it has been done elsewhere in the world and even in the US. But there is rarely the political will to enact it currently. So what does the film suggest is the solution here? Well, it does talk about a few options that we have. Firstly, it's worth you putting pressure on, on your politicians and making your voice heard on this issue to give some impetus to make change here. They also talk about maintaining good hygiene as much as possible and trying to buy, for example, whole heads of lettuce rather than a bag of mixed leaves that could come from lots of different plants. And if any one of them is contaminated, the whole bag is contaminated. So buy the whole head and wash it yourself. Also, be very careful when it comes to raw or undercooked meats, uh, oysters, that kind of thing. Now, I do think the film misses something here. And that is that the film shows us that all of these bacteria originally come from animals. And so in a world where we weren't intensively rearing livestock, we wouldn't have to worry about their waste matter being sprayed all over our crops. You know, if we're not rearing and slaughtering millions of animals each day, then we don't have to worry about their fecal matter being spread everywhere. And as with so many diseases, the mass production of animals in dirty, cramped, unhygienic conditions makes the problem so much worse than it needs to be. And so in a vegan world, this problem virtually disappears. So to conclude, I think that Poisoned is a really good film. I think it's well worth watching. It does an excellent job at drawing attention to this problem in an entertaining yet an insightful way. Although I would caution that its, its message is quite shocking and sometimes quite disturbing. However, it will open your eyes to just how dangerous your foods can be and help you to stay safer in the future. Now, friend, let me know what you think about this film. If you've seen it or you're interested in seeing it, leave a comment right down below and tell me what you think here because I just think this is really, even though I was a food scientist and I knew a lot about this kind of thing, I was surprised at how prevalent this problem is. Uh, so I'd be really interested to know your thoughts. Leave a comment down below. I'd like to thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.